Welcome to Skyfall, guys. I think Burkle's been here. <laughs> oh, let's have a look. Oh my good. Oh. Oh. Oh my good. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, fun. Nine stacks of drowned heads. <sighs> Burkle, burkle, burkle. <laughs> okay, guys, I need to get started on my next episode. So it's time to do that. Let's go. My time of pulling pranks without being retaliated upon has ended. It has officially ended. Oh, this is great. This is fabulous. <laughs> Well, the starter house is all cleaned up, but that's not the only cleaning up I have to do today. And I was experimenting with an old editing style that I haven't really thought about in a long time. But first things first, we have a skin change. Back in January, I spent weeks gathering a full shulker of lilies of the valley all by hand around the server and Burkle and Plasma crowned me queen of the lily of the valley. So, Burkle made me this skin, fitting for the occasion. What do you think? I made a few tweaks, but uh, I absolutely love it. Now I do need to go check on my shop profits. I have been told there are a few trinket sales, so let's replace them with some tridents, which means we need to go to my flower forest. And it's in the opposite direction. <laughs> if I have time this season, I definitely will be transforming this area, but it's not at the top of my priority. For now, my drown farm is just over here, and yeah, it's ugly. <laughs> Don't look at it. It's not the prettiest thing, but you know what? It is pretty effective for getting some tridents. I was only AFK here, well, semi-AFK for about maybe an hour and a half, and I got 20 tridents. It's not too bad. Well, let's pop over to the shop real quick. Ooh, what have we got? I'll take those. The turtle shells did really well that I can see. Oh, and, mm. oh, Davis. <laughs> I really didn't think that you would buy it, but uh, that's the easiest 64 diamonds I have ever made. I'll be saving these for something special later on in the season. But by the looks of it, I'm uh, <laughs> rich. <laughs> Let's see what else people have purchased. Well, the first sales of the shop seem to be a success and I do need to restock. So I'll put some tridents up, but first I want to fully enchant them, which means I need to make a trip to the bookstores just so that I can get all of the enchantments that I don't already have. All right, we want channeling, impaling and loyalty. Ah, Moonshine, you're lacking in the books that I need. Yes, Davis's shop is next. Ooh, yes, Davis. Two channeling and now loyalty. Wait, <sighs> there's no books. <laughs> Can a girl just get some loyalty around here? Jeez, looks like I'm gonna have to do it all myself. Well, before we get to that, let's put these diamonds away. And we're a little bit rich right now. Just a little bit. I am really hoping that I have some villagers with loyalty. Don't look. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. No looking. I will fix this. This, yep. This is, this is temporary. They are all going to be very happy. And you know, I'll probably build them a village in this episode. Just ignore the villager dungeon for now. Okay, let's have a quick look. Yep, yep, yep. Loyalty 2, that'll do. We combine them, but do I have impaling? Hmm. Looks like I'm gonna have to spend some time breaking a lectern. It's been 84 years. Oh, finally. That took me so long. I'm not breaking any more lecterns. That's it. I'm getting this one. I'm done. I'm done. Now that we have everything, I'm going to go ahead and get these all enchanted and I will see you at the shop. Okay, so I think two of each of the tridents is enough for now. We're going to have two Riptide, two Channeling and 15 diamonds should be fair. 
I'm probably not going to show the shop in camera again, but first I need to make a trip to Burkle's. You see, I need to split the Wither Rose sails with him and I think, yep, yeah, yep, in the back here. Yep, yeah, this is where I'll leave it. Now I need some cleaning up of my own base and uh, in the next clip, how many geckers can you find? That took me so long to do, but there was at least eight of me running around in that clip. Now that the entire area is all clean and tidy and very empty except for that mob farm, it's time to get started building a village. And by village, I mean I'm going to get sidetracked and build myself a fairy nether portal. And what better way to frame it than to give it giant lavender. These are some of my favorite builds right now. And oh, look, there's another gecko. Davis better watch out, we are multiplying. <laughs> turned out. I mean, I did get a little carried away and now this entire corner of the valley is feeling so complete. Over here we have our beautiful library full of all of the librarians that I could possibly need, even with their own little courtyard. This little entrance here is to the zombie converter. I want a little Beetlejuice vibe, you know, just a little theme of a waiting room. I thought that would be fitting while the rest of my villagers are waiting for their own little homes. But over here, across the river, I built a little house for my masons. So I can have all the coloured terracotta that I could potentially need for building my mega base and any more giant flowers that I decide to make. Well guys, that's it for the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I think in the next one I'm going to pay a little visit to davis's museum i've already gone and checked it out but um you guys need to see what he's got going on there because it is pretty amazing anyway bye for now have a good one and please leave a like and subscribe that would be much appreciated